Hey everyone, welcome back to Dub Support YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a side by side comparison between Hippo Video and Dub. So let's go ahead and actually get right into it. You can see here I have Hippo on the left and Dub on the right. So what we're going to start with first is actually just like I said, a side by side comparison of the two platforms in detail. So the first thing we're going to look at is the dashboard. Um, we'll take a look at Hippo's first. So let's maximize this one. Okay, so here's a dashboard, just, just some basic analytics. You can see everything um, from one glance, how many emails or how many videos you've sent, who's watched, or you know what the analytics look like, things like that. So very simple, simple dashboard, um, pretty straightforward navigation menu on top. And then when we look over at Dubs, um, it's funny because these platforms have so much in common that they end up looking really similar. So again, you have your, your analytics there in the center, the video library, and then the navigation menu on the left. So same elements, just looks like they're, they're flipped around a little bit differently um, in terms of layout. So uh, not much difference there. So let's actually get into the, the tools themselves, the platforms themselves. The, the first element of any video platform is the creation. How do we create these videos? So let's actually go ahead and get into that. If you guys have seen any videos from this channel, you've probably seen dubs before. So let's go ahead and start with hippos. Okay, so we always start with the Chrome extension. Let's go ahead and open that one up first. So we click on the Hippo Chrome extension, we can see that uh, it's got the same things. We've got the screen record, webcam, mic, um, and then we can either record full desktop or current tab. And there's also some advanced settings where we can turn off the annotation tools. It looks like we can choose uh, resolution, um, choose the webcam, choose the mic. Okay, so settings and doesn't look like we have, okay, here's another menu. We can see recent videos. So there's the library of videos and there is the creation tool itself. Um, so almost identical to Dubs. Uh, just a reminder here quick with Dubs, you got the same exact functions, has your library of videos. Um, we also have some analytics there so you can see exactly who's watching and what percentage um, and things like that. Uh, and they also have the, the resize the webcam. So they both have annotation tools, they both have pause, so they both have some really cool real-time editing functions right into the Chrome extension. So these guys are, are really very comparable. I'd say they're almost identical. Um, current tab, full screen, webcam only, and then real-time real recording uh, features like screen annotations, pausing, things like that. Uh, th I didn't see a webcam resize option uh, for Hippo, so that's the only thing I would say that it's lacking is as a, the ability to go from full screen webcam to back to a screen recording in the same video. Um, so that is available on Dubs. Okay, the next thing is uh, the add-ons. So within Gmail, we'll just stick with Gmail today because we can go into 100 different platforms and what these add-ons look like. Um, so let's just go ahead and use Gmail as the example today. So you can see that uh, there's a different type of integration here with Gmail. It's a Gmail add-on. You actually have to go into the Gmail store and add it on. So it's not really like Dub's Gmail integration where it just kind of automatically populates there. You have to go in and install it separately from the Chrome extension. But you can see here in a couple of places it populates. Um, and one of them is in the compose window. So if, if I hit compose, you'll notice the buttons there. I can either send a one-to-one -one or a video campaign. Now the difference here is just, it's just going to be a creation of a video one-to-one -one, um, for one-to-one -one purpose. And then this one is going to allow me to create a video to send it to multiple people at once uh, through like a broadcast. So that is what the tool looks like there. Um, couldn't get this sidebar to load, but we also have some notifications um, and things like that in there so we can see how videos are performing right within Gmail. So very similar to dubs. Um, when we click the dub icon, it shows you your library of videos, record a brand new one, or you can upload from YouTube and then also check on activity. Um, so that's dubs, it's a nice little simple button in there. Um, and Hippos looks to be like a more immersive kind of add-on. Um, it's taken over the compose button here and also in here. And then we got some tools there. Uh, like I said, couldn't get this sidebar to load though. So unfortunate there. Um, but this is what it looks like. Let's go ahead and actually hit this button and we're gonna see this process through. So we hit here, start recording. And you'll notice there is a difference in this creation process. We do a little countdown, um, and then now we're recording. We could have either done the screen or webcam. I just chose webcam for this. We'll just keep it short, finish recording. And then now we can see what we can add to and the customization um, in this at this step. So we'll actually move forward with the customization of this part here. Um, we'll come back into that in a second. That's the next part of the video. We're just talking about creation. So that is how we create the videos with Hippo. We have the Chrome extension. We also have Gmail add-on, oh, this guy popped back up. So it looks like we can do some trimming here, um, but that's about it. I can either trim and then select the thumbnail, and then I have the option to insert the video. 
So actually it looks like that's it for the customization of those one-to-one -one videos for Hippo at this level. Um, we will get into the, the rest of the creation or the customization for those on, on the dub side of things, this wrap up creation. The other thing here is, so we talked about the Chrome extension and we talked about the Gmail add-ons. Now they both seem to be pretty, pretty similar. Um, what I would say the main difference here is, and I, what I can't actually show you in this video is the mobile app. So Dub's mobile app has quite a bit more functionality. You can record multiple clips and splice them together and we can add music. Um, we can add calls to actions on the mobile app. Lots and lots of functionality from the Dub mobile app. I have played with the Hippo video mobile app. Uh, it's, it's not bad, it just only has the ability to record a simple quick video or select from your library of existing videos. So you can't do anything like clips or adding calls to action or a whole lot of editing of the videos on the app. It's more for taking videos you already have or just a really quick camera only, uh, front facing camera only video. Um, you might be able to swap the camera, but not during the recording. With Dub, you can start with the front camera, switch to the back, add multiple clips, lots of stuff. Um, so that is unfortunate that I can't show you in this video, but definitely check that out. Um, that is gonna be one of the main differences in the creation tools is the mobile app. And also, um, Dub has a, does have a couple of additional real-time editing features, uh, one of them which is uh, virtual backgrounds. So that's going to look like that. We can automatically add virtual backgrounds in there. So that's a pretty cool feature for real time editing. And then also um, from the mobile app, we describe the multiple clips, music, and more. So I would say that in terms of creation, it's really close. They have very similar tools, the Chrome extension, the add on, um, but I would say Dub's going to take the edge. The, the app is a little bit more advanced as well as having the, the desktop app to record without having those interruptions in your video. Um, if you guys are using a Chrome based uh, screen recorder, you'll notice that if you have a little video um, right here that it will actually have to refresh every time you click a different tab. So if you're on one tab, it's not a problem, but if you're switching tabs, this little webcam preview of you reloading is, is can be annoying. And that's uh, gonna happen with every extension, Chrome extension recorder. So that's why we have the Dub desktop app to avoid that problem, as well as like internet connectivity issues and things like that. And so that's why I give the edge to Dub in the creation of these videos, because um, otherwise they're really similar, but Dub has a few options, such as the mobile app and the desktop recorder. So. The next step is the customization of these videos. We talked a little bit about how to customize them on the fly here. Um, so let's just really quickly, before we get ahead of ourselves, um, finish that. So we took, we took a look at what um, we can do with Hippo on the fly. And now with Dub, this is what we can do here as well. So I can hit record. Three, two, one. Hey, here's a quick test and then that guy uploads. And then we're able to do a little bit more customization at this, uh, you know, in, in, in on the fly level. So we can add calls to action, we can uh, choose tags and things like that, and then I can insert that video. Um, so that that's available at this, like I said, on the fly level. However, um, we're gonna talk about the full customization of these guys. So um, the first thing is the customization of the video itself. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um, here's what video, or here's what a video looks like on the Hippo uh, platform once it's been uploaded. And we can see we have customized video, which is the thumbnails. And now that's actually the, how the video looks itself. But then we also have the ability to kind of customize what the video page looks like. And then thirdly, we have the ability to actually customize the video itself, like trimming and adding things and text overlay, lots of different stuff. Um, in the video itself for in terms of customization. And now this is where Hippo is definitely gonna have uh, a leg up on Dub. Hippo has a full video editing suite. So you can completely edit these videos just like you could with like an iMovie or something like that. Um, so it is a full full video editing suite. Um, there's different tiers of that as well. So on their, their higher tier plans, it's gonna contain all their options for editing. And then on the lower tier one, it's a little bit more of a basic editor. Um, so that is gonna be more advanced than the editing features that you're gonna have on Dub. Um, let's just go ahead and take a look at that. So that's the first layer of customization is just customizing the video itself. And we can see here on Dub, um, the customization is just basic basic trimming. So we can trim off the beginning, trim off the end, custom thumbnails. Um, so those options are available on both platforms. However, as I mentioned, Hippos really goes far with the video editing features. Okay, the next thing is actually the customization of the video pages themselves or, or the, the delivery pages. When someone's actually watching this video, what does that page look like that it's set on? So I, I did a little test myself here. Um, and now most of the customization isn't actually available on, on the free trial that I could find. You can upload the logo, um, you can get a custom domain, and then you can have these videos. You can actually have some buttons down there below. Uh, according to their articles, it looks like you can choose some templates, and then those can have 
buttons down there uh, just like they can with dubs. So the customization of the video pages is pretty similar, very similar in fact. Um, let's take a look at that. So here is the customization of a dub video page. We can see that we have the same logo in the top corner um, and then similar buttons, but actually this is where some of the edge is gonna go to dub in terms of the customization of the video page. And it's with these call to action buttons. So the call to action buttons that uh, Hippo provides are really just link based. You can see here actually the creation of those call to actions, it's just a URL. And you're gonna get far more functionality out of a dub CTA, or at least the, the, the possibility here. So we can do things like direct calendar integration, as you can see there. Also Facebook Messenger integration, we can give them the ability to download things, as well as make phone calls or uh, SMS messages directly from a CTA. Um, now that's not including all the other things you can that have, they actually have in common, such as forms and uh, link-based CTAs and things like that. But those are the two that both provide. So I would definitely give the edge here to Dub in terms of the customization of these video pages. And that's primarily just because the functionality of the call to action buttons. That's one of the main reasons I give the edge to Dub uh, customization of these particular video pages. Otherwise, they're gonna be really similar um, in terms of what they can look like. The other reason I give Dub the edge here is because of the playlist feature. So you can utilize a playlist feature on uh, Hippo as well, but it's just different. All it does is it comes up in his little in-video suggestion over here where do you want to watch the next video, where the way Dubs works is it'll automatically transition into that next video without the recipient having to do anything. And the less we can require people to click or do anything on this page, and the more information we can deliver to them, uh, that's typically a better experience. So. Um, we talked about the customization of the videos themselves, which we gave the edge to Hippo. Uh, they really have a, a, a full suite of video editing features. So the customization of the video itself goes to Hippo. Customization of the video page looks like we're going to have to give to Dub because of the playlist and CTA functionality. Okay, the next thing is let's take a look at some integrations. Um, these platforms actually have very, very similar integrations. So we're just going to take a quick look at the list here. HubSpot, Salesforce, MailChimp, Shopify. Uh, Gmail, Slack, phone burner. Um, so yeah, just that quick list. You can see it's about 20 or so. Um, and then we're gonna see that it's actually almost identical list over here on Dub in terms of integrations. So um, let's pop into that list of integrations here. So you can see it's many of the same ones. It looks like Dub has a lot more uh, real estate focused integrations like Lion Desk and Bonzo and things like that, but also the same exact things like Slack and HubSpot, Salesforce, Gmail. Um, almost identical integrations here. So there actually will be a couple of integrations that will be unique to Dub, um, and that's gonna be LinkedIn and Facebook Messenger. And the reason I mentioned those is because those are really huge platforms for anything like B2C related. So that's why I mentioned those, and because th those are integrations that are not included um, with uh, Hippo video. So so just a little bit different. Like I said, the, the integrations with um, B2B or you know company-facing platforms, softwares for companies, uh, those are going to be a little bit different because there's there's tens of thousands of those. But the platforms that are B two C, you know, like LinkedIn and Facebook Messenger, um, those are a little bit more important and, and list of priorities for integrations. And those are included here with Dub. So definitely check those out. We have full videos on the the integrations with LinkedIn um, and those platforms and Messenger as well. So so check those guys out. Okay. Um, now we've talked about integrations, very comparable, uh, slight edge to Dub here for the LinkedIn and Facebook Messenger. So the next thing is distribution. Um, what do I mean by distribution? This is both distribution through emails or social or whatever channels you have. This means both publishing these videos, embedding the videos, and then sending these videos directly to people. So this is actually a pretty complicated topic, um, but let's let's jump into it. So the first thing, um, let's just go ahead and talk about hosting. They both provide unlimited hosting and they both have um, embedding options. They both provide pop-up embed, they both embed a standard embed. Um, so really similar um, embedding options, no limits there. So so I can't give the edge either way in embedding itself. Um, so the next thing goes to, to social. They both have one uh, central hub for posting to social. So when you wanna post this video um, to publish it, you can you know do so through, through social means at, from one central hub. So um, social distribution, really similar. Um, can't really give one edge the either way there as well. Uh, so the next thing is actually, like I said, sending these videos directly. We did talk about um, automation just a little bit or, or campaigns, how we can send out bulk uh, messages. So that is something we can do here 
on both platforms. They both offer the ability to send out campaigns. So you can see here video campaigns. That's something we can launch out. I can include a list. I can import a list and then broadcast this out and then get the reports for it. So, uh, however, I'm going to have to give Dub the edge when it comes to distribution um, and for this reason. So Hippo Video does not provide automation. They don't provide the ability to send out automated email sequences. They do allow you to integrate with other platforms that may provide sequencing, but they don't have any type of automation in-house. And with Dub, the automation is actually going to be pretty advanced. We have both email and SMS automation. So you can build out email sequences, or sorry, workflows or sequences of both emails and SMS interspersed between each other. So it's a pretty cool function. I believe we're the only video platform out there that's going to provide that type of automation. So um, that's where I have to give the edge to Dub in terms of distribution. Um, they both allow bulk, you know, uh, bulk video email sending, and they both allow for great embedding options and social distribution. However, a Hippo is lacking automation. They don't have any type of automation. So um, that's why I give the edge to Dub in terms of distribution. So the next thing here is tracking. So that, that really goes hand in hand with distribution. And actually, this is where I have to give them, again, a tie. It's nearly identical in terms of what we can look at for distribution or uh, tracking, sorry. So you can see here's a little test that I sent to myself um, and we got 95% of who watched it. So we can see specifically who watched the video and what percentage of the video that they watched. So that is available actually on both platforms. Um, the only difference there is in the tracking is that, you know, with Dub, we can send out automations and track those even through text messages and emails and still get the tracking. And so that's the only thing is we're going to track more activity with Dub, but the level of tracking is going to be, like I said, basically identical. Here's an example of a campaign that was distributed through Dub to about 17,000 people. And uh, you can see specifically who watched, who watched what percentage um, and things like that. And I can filter that. I can see who watched, where their location is. So that's actually one thing different with Dub is the location. So you can get um, city, state, you know, location, things like that on Dub where you're not going to, it doesn't look like you're getting that with um, the tracking from Hippo. It doesn't give me a location over in Hippo's tracking. Um, so maybe a slight difference there. That's really not as of importance because using different cell towers and Wi-Fi locations, things like that can become skewed anyway. So more the percentage and then who's watching is really more important. So it's really very similar here on the tracking. Okay, so now we've covered just about everything the platforms do, the creation, the customization, the distribution and tracking. Now uh, all that's left is pricing. So let's go ahead and get right into pricing. Um, both actually have free tiers. So that's where we're going to start. You know, both have a free tier. Um, however, if it's we're using for business, and we're using for, for sales and marketing, uh, free tiers aren't really an option because of the branding and the features that we need. So the, neither of the free, free tiers offer what we really need to get out of it for, for our business purposes. Um, so let's move forward. They both do have low price tiers as well, um, but it's really kind of a similar story. These low price tiers do not include the functions that we need. So you can see here their starter package um, does not include custom calls to action, which we absolutely need. We can't just have generic calls to actions. Um, so that, that is one thing. So their starter package really isn't um, where, where we need to start. That's probably going to be more along the lines of this pro plan. Um, so let's go ahead and move to the next one. However, Dub does actually have a starter plan that is a little bit more functional. So they do have a starter package um, that is in this internal and support plan for support pro. And that is only $10 a month, eight if you pay for the year in advance. And that does include everything that the platform has to offer, except for the automation stuff. So except for the really heavy automation, um, things like that. We can still do custom calls to action. All the custom branding and things like that are included um, in that, that introductory package. Whereas, as I mentioned with Hippo, the introductory package doesn't include custom CTAs, which is really important here. So um, the next thing is the fact that uh, we need those all the important features, which really starts at this $59 per month plan. So we're talking about both sales and marketing. You can see the list of features here. Uh, and we absolutely need custom video sales pages. We don't want generic video sales pages. So this is really crucial here. And if I actually go further down into this list, you'll see into the sales and marketing stuff that this growth plan is really the only option. So for, for marketing dashboards and internal team collaboration, really important to have shared dashboard for marketing purposes. And in the sales side of things, we absolutely need custom video sales pages. We need shared team folders and we absolutely need configurable calls to action. So those things are only included in that growth plan at $59 per month. And so this $59 per month plan here would be the equivalent of Dub's $40 per month plan, which is this one here, uh, the pro. 
So let's go to sales and marketing because you can see the sales and marketing is really in one stack. So that's the pro $32 if you pay for the year in advance or $40 month per month. Now it doesn't seem like much of a difference, you know, 59, 40, um, except for there's one critical component here that we're missing out on. And that is the fact that um, testimonials and things aren't included with this. So you know, collecting video testimonials is a huge part of how to leverage video for your business. C putting testimonials and like uh, case studies or reviews, things like that into your sequences and into your playlists can really be helpful for driving conversions. So video collection or testimonial collection is really, really critical here. And that's an add on there for $30 per month. And that's going to be included even with the most basic dub packages. So that's definitely something con to consider. I mean, if you're all full up on testimonial videos, you absolutely don't need any of those, then this is a throwaway. Um, however, most businesses, especially businesses looking to get into the video space, this is, they're going to find this is an absolutely critical feature that they're going to need to collect and leverage these testimonials. So um, just consider that. So with, with dubs, either $10 per month or $40 per month plan, we're getting this testimonials feature built into there. So um, that's to consider. Uh, and the next thing is uh, subtitles. So they both do have subtitles, really cool. Not all, not all video platforms are offering closed captions or subtitle generation. Uh, just a little bit different pricing there. It looks like you get 60 minutes for five bucks on Hippo where you're getting 100 minutes for five bucks on Dub. Um, okay, so we've really kind of compared these two platforms. When it comes to uh, feature set to feature set, we're looking at the growth plan with the testimonial plan added. So that's a 30 on 59, so that's 89 per month um, for to really get a comparable uh, plan here. Or actually, yeah, that's 60, it's 90 bucks a month. So, and then we actually have um, a couple of things here included. So as I mentioned, the growth plan or every plan with, with Hippo does include that video editing uh, features. So basically in conclusion here, it seems that the primary difference between Hippo and Dub is gonna be that you're paying for those video editing features, um, the online hosted, and it's because video editing is an expensive um, product to host. You know, Every time you perform an edit with a video, it has to be retranscoded and retranscribed. So it's definitely worth its value. However, if, if video editing, you know, we, there's offline editors that don't require that same hosting and uh, the costs associated, and they're often free, like iMovie and things like that. Or if you've already invested in a video editor, then the monthly cost associated with the video editor um, doesn't really make sense. So uh, in conclusion, primary difference is you're paying for video editing with Hippo, whereas with Dub, you're getting their testimonials and all the same feature sets included in that $40 uh, per month plan. Um, both actually do have a free trial as well. So Hippo Videos is actually only a two day free trial. So if you're gonna take advantage of it, you really gotta get in there quick. Um, Dub does have a free trial as well. So definitely check it out um, if you haven't already. I do recommend you know maybe getting a quick demo between the two platforms. Uh, I also, unless you've watched this video, this is going to provide a pretty quick demo, and I'm sure you're going to come to the same conclusion as I am, that if you need video editing, um, host it online, you're, you have no idea what you're doing with video editing, maybe you check out one of their starter packages and, and see if video editing is for you. Um, however, we have a uh, really strong, a strongly supported theory over at Dub that we need to avoid really heavy editing for most of these sales videos. You know, if it's a commercial and things like that, editing is great. Having a fully produced video is important. Um, but for most of these one-to-one -one videos, we need to avoid getting bogged down with editing. Um, so just take that into consideration, all, all things considered. Thanks for your time.